Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, seems like forever that I've done a video, but i um, just been super busy. Um, so I uh, finally had a, a day off and I went shopping um, at Winners and Marshalls. Um, but some of this stuff I've also collected over the past few weeks and um, uh, just getting around to, to filming about them anyhow. So, um, so I'll start with some of the high-end uh, makeup and skincare that I found at Winners and Marshalls. Um, the first thing is this Cargo Cosmetics Getaway Palette, and I have been eyeing it for a while. Um, but they all, the um, in our Marshalls, they keep them in these plastic containers um, because people do steal them. Um, so I didn't know what it looked like inside. So um, I did see a video uh, with this palette and I really did like the colors. They do have another palette. I don't know if it's called Paradise or something like that, but I didn't like the colors as much. And this is more of a cool tone palette, which I like for the summertime. So it has a mirror and a couple of uh, brush there, but it does have the cool tone. So it's got some the grays, the silvers, um, the lilacs, the mauves. Um, so yeah, I did I did like the uh, the colors on this one, and I have swatched them. I haven't actually used a palette on my eyes, but I swatched them, and they're very 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 pretty and um, great colors for a nice cool tone look. So I'm not sure how much this is. Um, online I'm sure it was like 40 45 Canadian I'm not sure but it was on ten dollars uh, clearance and then they had this uh, Ole Hendrickson ultimate lift eye cream and I looked online I think it was about 54 Canadian or something like that um, it was way up there um, but this one I got for 9.99 and this one has peptides which uh, stimulates the growth of uh, collagen and hyaluronic acid which is normally found in your skin um, also has hyaluronic acid and avocado oil um, so yeah compared to um, the retail price yeah that's a pretty good deal and then I saw this new um, company stroke of beauty and I've never heard of this this brand um, anyway uh, this is what it looks like and this palette's called bad mums and I got this for $9.99. So I looked online, and um, online you could buy this palette along with the lip gloss for $54 uh, US. Um, so Canadian, let's uh, uh, add some more onto that. Uh, this was $9.99. And um, I just read a little blurb about it. I guess it came out um, with that movie, Bad Mums, um, at Christmas time. And I never did see the movie. Um, but anyway, they were promoting this palette with the movie anyhow. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it is definitely high-end price. And that's uh, what the package looks like. And then inside you get six eyeshadows, two blushes, and a highlighter. And they do swatch really nice. They're very, very soft, very pigmented. Um, that's the highlighter, and those are the two blushes here. And then you get the six eyeshadows. Um, so yeah, for um, it was it's quite a savings, and it seems very good quality. So um, I thought I'd give it a try. And then from the same company, uh, there was these um, Better Not Pout Lip Shine Trio. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they were like twenty dollars each online. Just can't remember now. Um, but this was um, three of these lip sticks or lip glosses for $7.99 and they got really really nice packaging and um, the colors like that's supposed to be a coral the colors look really dark um, but it is a gloss um, but it's actually a fairly pigmented gloss I don't know if you're going to get a good look at that it's kind of dark right now outside um, but they're very moisturizing and they're very opaque for like a lip gloss. I think it says on here, um, a color saturation of lipstick, reflective sheen of a gloss, and the comfort and hydration of a balm. So you get like a coral color and then these uh, really dark pink and then a kind of a red color. So um, yeah, so 
there's quite the savings from uh, the online price anyhow. So yeah, that's a, a company we're checking out if you're in Marshalls or Winners. Uh, there are just a couple of books I bought in, when I was in Costco. This is by the same author of The Rosie Project. And uh, this is Two Steps Forward. And actually I think um, this other author is his partner or his wife, I'm not sure. Um, but they, I think they wrote this book together. And then this is uh, the, the Fire Court. And I read this book, The, um, the Ashes of London. And I really liked it. It takes place during a 1666 London fire. Um, and that was a, such a good book. And this is a sequel to it, uh, Fire the Fire Court. So this is as they're rebuilding the um, uh, London. Kind of a murder mystery was the first one with just a lot of intrigue and plot twist. And it was a really, really good book. So I'm glad to see the sequel come out of that one. And then I got a couple of other... Um, palettes. Uh, this is, um, found this in Winners. This is Profusion. And I guess they sell this brand in Target now. We don't have Target here anymore. I um, guess it didn't do too well and it moved out. Uh, so this is 24 um, eyeshadows for $9.99. You get glitters, uh, shimmer shades, satin shades, um, and matte shades. And I did use it once and I was really quite impressed with the, um, with the uh, pigmentation on it. And they have this little sticky thing to help protect the eyeshadows. Um, but they're very, very nice colors. Uh, there's a lot of good transition shades, crease shades, outer corner shades, uh, quite, a, uh, quite a variety of different, um, different looks you can get with this one. Um, yeah, I'm actually very impressed. So yeah, $9.99 for um, 24 shadows and uh, uh, I've heard good things about these profusion eyeshadows. So, and then another one they have is Beauty Treats, and I think you can find these at Five and Below, which is a dollar store down in the states. We don't have it here, but I did see it in Winners, and this is seven ninety nine, and you get twenty four shimmer and matte shades. And I've has swatched them, and the pigment's a little bit hit and miss. Um, some are very well pigmented, others you have to build up a little bit, which I don't mind. Um, but yeah, the, the colors really are quite pretty though. I do have to play with this one a little bit more. I just did a basic look at the one day, um, so I definitely have to work with it more. But um, yeah, it's, it's actually very, very pretty color in that. So. And then I did get a True Beauty Gold Foil Face Mask, um, one of those Korean sheet masks. And uh, yeah, I really like the True Beauty uh, brand. I haven't tried this particular one, but usually the True Beauty has that very thick, um, firm gel that doesn't crease up and wrinkle up on you. Um, this is They're very hydrating. I really do like the True Beauty one. This is a, a fun kind of gold foil look. Just bought a couple of um, little sponge holders. So this one has little feet on it. And you just put your wet sponge in there so it'll dry before you put it away. It's got little feet. And then there's this little portable one. And inside is uh, the sponge. Um, I think this would be good for traveling. Um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to put a wet sponge away. Um, so you just put it inside this little egg when you're traveling and the these little air holes supposedly help dry it out so it doesn't get all moldy and everything like that. So, And then I did get three more of the Dirty Works uh, skincare products. I really like the Dirty Works products. Um, I've used about, oh geez, I think I'm on my third one right now, this Creamy Cleanser. Uh, it has uh, green tea extract, cucumber and spearmint, it's got menthol. Um, it's got cucumber oil. Um, it's just, uh, it's very moisturizing. Even, even with the peppermint and the menthol, which you think would be a bit drying, this is very moisturizing. It cleans so well. And the best thing is, like at the end of a hot summer day, when you got sunscreen on and you're sweating and bug spray, you just wash your face and 
the menthol makes it so cool and refreshing. Like even after you dry your face, you can still feel the the coolness kind of evaporating off you. It's just a wonderful, wonderful cleaner. And this is the Perfect uh, Face Scrub by the same company, Dirty Works. And it has very fine particles for the scrubbing, so um, unless you have very sensitive skin, um, the, the granules are quite fine. So um, it also has a menthol in it. It's just cooling and refreshing and leaves your skin smooth as a baby's bum. I really like that product. Oopsie. And this is one I haven't seen before by Dirty Works. And this is just a face facial mist. Play it cool. And this one uh, is a hydrating mist to revive thirsty skin. Um, helps calm and soothe sensitive skin and can be used as a cooling mist on hot days and humid nights. Um, so I love facial sprays. They're just so refreshing. And I don't think this one has any smell. I don't... No, it has no smell at all. Um, but just, especially in a hot summer day, I'm constantly just spraying a hydrating mist on. It's just so refreshing and cooling. And um, yeah, so I was pretty happy to see, see that come out. And then... Um, I got a couple of um, snail mucin products. Uh, now I, th I think uh, with snail mucin, or I like to call it snail snot, I think the reason they're using it in skincare is because they saw these little snails crawling around with their little exposed bellies, soft, squishy little exposed bellies, and they're going over rocks and pebbles and everything like that, um, but they don't seem to injure themselves. So they figure, okay, Obviously, their little the snail snot is protecting their little bodies, um, so something in that snail mucin is helping protect them. So if it can protect a snail, why can't it protect human skin? So I think that's the theory behind it, anyhow. So this is a Nutra Snail Daily Toner. This is only four ninety nine, though the packaging looks um, quite expensive. Um, I have to look up online to see what this. Uh, retails for, um, but you do get uh, 270 mils or 9 ounces, and there's that little snail there. Um, so yeah, hey, if it works for snails, see if it'll work for me. And then this is the Pure Snail Moisture Soothing Gel. Uh, contains snail secretion filtrate to make dry skin moist and shiny. Um, now, it says 95%, so I don't know if it's 95% snail mucin, because the rest is in Korean. Um, actually, my neighbor across the street is Korean, so I'm going to take this over um, some time and ask her um, exactly what it says on the back and what ingredients there is. But anyway, over there, yeah, there's this little, little Mr. Snail there. And it's just, it's a clear gel. You get quite a bit, actually. Oh, it smells really, really good, too. So we'll see how that works. Um, I'll just slather some on me, and I'll crawl on my belly up the street and see if it um, helps protect my skin or not. Um, oh, and then uh, just for shoes, um, I bought uh, some of these uh, black flowered uh, sandals. Um, they got a nice cushiony little insole. Uh, so I do have a pair, but they're kind of falling apart. So, um, And then I saw these and I thought, oh, these are really nice. And I noticed they were in the girl section. And I thought, oh, they're going to be too small. But I looked at the size 5 and I thought, well, that looks like it's going to fit me. So it's this really nice champagne-y, glittery... Uh, kind of look to it. It's got a little zipper up the back there. And I thought they were just really pretty and they did fit. It was a girl size 5. I usually take a woman's 6 in sandals and it it fits fine and I just thought they were so so pretty and it's um that kind of color will just go with anything too. And then I just got some uh, waterproof body glove um waterproof flip-flops um, 
I did have a pair similar to this and then they kind of fell apart. Um, usually when I buy shoes I, I wear them till they fall apart. Um, so yeah, with the, the, the new puppy coming in less than a week, uh, they love water. Uh, so yeah, we'll be taken to, to the, uh, the river and that a lot. So I thought I better get another pair of those. And so anyway, that's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know what your spring light is like, but we we're having a very cold spring here. Um, once in a while it warms up, but um, when it does warm up, it just starts to rain. So anyway, um, when summer comes, we'll just be complaining about uh, uh, how hot it is. So just take what you get and <laughs> nothing you can do about it. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy my haul and uh, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.